Chennai is almost flat, like a pancake, with mean elevation of about just 6 meters. Many localities in Chennai, in fact, are at sea level, making drainage difficult. Since free runoff is tough, and effective stormwater drainage becomes a must. The sewage system in Chennai was originally designed for a population of just over half a million at 114 litres per capita per day of water supply. Today, the population of Chennai is pushing 8 million. Of course, the sewage system was upgraded in the early 90s, but remains much below capacity. Also, the city has only 855 kilometres of storm drains against 2,847 kilometres of roads. Now, all that shouldn't have mattered as much because Chennai is blessed uniquely with an excellent natural drainage system. With Kosasthalia River in the north, Kuam River flowing through the centre, Adyar in the south and 24 macro drains, Chennai was, well, sorted. There is Buckingham Canal too, once a crown jewel, but I'll come to that in a moment. Mindless urban expansion, Professor Janakarajan of the Madras Institute of Development Studies says, led to clogging of the rivers, reducing their carrying capacity. In the 2015 flood, Adyar River carried 1,6,000 cubic of water, which cannot, I mean, the Adyar River does not have kind of a carrying capacity. And the Kuo River carried 98,000 cubic of water, and the Kuo River does not have that kind of a carrying capacity. So suddenly, all the uh, entire adjacent area, neighboring neighborhood of these rivers are flooded. In the upstream of Chennai city is Tiruvallur and Kanjiburam districts that have about 3,700 water bodies, small, medium and large. Most of these are shallow and their catchment areas and surplus channels have all been encroached upon by real estate development. So, the water from rainfall in these two districts upstream comes to Chennai city and the city gets flooded. Let's look at Buckingham Canal, wistfully referred to by some as the Venice of Madras. Constructed as a navigation waterway, Buckingham also played a key role in managing flood water. The canal was gridlocked with the three rivers that cut across Chennai, Kosasthalayar, Kuam and Adyar, rivers that overflowed leading to the 2015 deluge. The Buckingham Canal, Professor Janakarajan points out, served as a receptacle or a container of flood waters from multiple micro and medium drains apart from the three main rivers, making it critical for Chennai. Buckingham Canal today has gone from its original width of 100 meters to about 30. Shallowed down completely below the Kosasalaya and the Buckingham Canal. They disconnected the Buckingham Canal. They disconnected the river and the entire ecosystem is damaged. Sharing Buckingham Canal's ecosystem is Ennore Creek. Spread across 8,000 acres, it was once famous for its rich biodiversity and helped mitigate flooding. The campaign to save Ennore, though at least two years old, has gathered momentum with actors like Kamalasan lending their celebrity. The creek, activists argue, is what kept the city from going under when extreme weather pushes rainwater forcefully from the two rivers to meet the sea. Under a 1996 Coastal Regulation Zone notification, the Tamil Nadu government protected 6,500 acres of the creek. But the creek has been encroached upon by a thermal power station. The government even allowed diversion of 1,000 acres to the state-run Kamraj Port Limited. The story repeats itself across Chennai's wetlands and marshlands. The Chennai city has got, for instance, again very, very unique uh, you know, wetland system. The one to be is the Pallikarne marsh, the marshland, which originally had something like 8,000 hectares of land. Today, it is flat as an IT corridor. We've got a big road, we've got a National Institute of Washington Technology, we've got a um, Kamachi Hospital, we've got a global health city, then we've got all kinds of software industry. Everything is located. And now 8,000 square hectares of uh, uh, marshland, the wetland, it is now reduced to 500 hectares. And naturally, this area get, got flooded so heavily. So in 2015 flood, even now with a very, very six days or seven days of rainfall, the marshland got flooded. It is because this is marshland. And you never respected your wetland system, ecosystem, and that is why we suffered. 
these before and after maps of six lakes and tanks in Chennai tell the story as starkly as can be. If not, this evocative protest song hopes to get you and through you, the government to care. Some lands must be kept in common for use by all. Such lands are classified in Tamil as Porambokal. Porambokal unak illa porambokal yanak illa porambokal urak porambokal bhoomi.